Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Hey guys and welcome back to Twitch's blind playthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown! So last time we did a council mission and saved some girl who managed to escape from the aliens, which is to me mind-blowing stuff. Uh, we then figured out that we could upgrade soldiers and we got some wounded soldiers as well, but we're asked to go to the Situation Room right now, so which to me means Commander, we should go. good news. The Council has donated a satellite. Woo! Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately. immediately. That would make it so number one. Okay, awesome. So, what do we want? We want to select a satellite to look now. <laughs> To me, with the United States panicking, so I went on the wiki beforehand and I read a little bit about satellites because I'd seen the satellite thing and I didn't really know what was going on about it. So they reduced panic, and well, that, that's what kind of what I got from the situation that they reduced panic and also enable you to um, spot spot stuff. I can't remember exactly what, but this this is good enough. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is pop it there, the launch launch satellite. There we go. Uh, 180 per month. What? I get a plus. All oh, right, sweet. Okay, wicked. Yeah, no, there we go. All right, so let's do that. Uh, so we're going to launch it over the United States. It's going to take four days to get there. Uh, not great. Not worse. No, you know. uh, we get some money for it, which I think is amazing. Like to me, if you put like technology in orbit, it should cost you money. But obviously, the council are like grateful or something, uh, and then yeah, they give us money. So if we launch, we will. Uh, we will have satellites covering a third of countries in North America. Okay, well, let's Satellite do that. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Okay, well, that's fine. But we have no interceptors in range of the satellite. We will not be able to engage any alien craft that we detect. We should transfer interceptors to this continent as soon as possible. Okay, well, I don't have any interceptors. With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. Uh-huh. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? So, looking around. So, he was going on about how I need interceptors over here. I mean, how do I make that happen? I, I, I actually don't know how we make that happen. But what I'm going to do is just scan. Uh, I believe this wastes time. Yeah, look. Okay, so we're in March 2015. This is all good. Oh, hello. Cutscene. What, what's going You're on here? You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things. Alive. Yeah, that's yes. exactly what I'm saying. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. In three weeks, that's not bad. And how Good do you work. suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? Of course it I is. Do. Oh, well, if the engine is, yes, yeah. No, our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it ha. and ha. interrogate it, find out what they want, where they're operating from. That's yes. the one. The moon, the right? Possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. It's where I'd invade Earth from. safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Possibly on the far side of the moon. That, that, yeah, that's, that's where I'd be. We've got very little little eyes out that way. Uh, Xenobiology. Yeah, we've done some, done some research. Let's do some more. So we need to capture a live alien. That's all right, we can do that. Alien containment available for construction. Okay, wow, look at this wall of text. Um, I kind of want to read it all though. We managed to successfully map, uh, successfully map the alien specimen's entire genome, although I wasn't sure it would be possible using our existing DNA sequencing techniques. So they use DNA, awesome. However, our success has led to startling realization this connection, that this creature's genetic structure is quite similar to our own. The discovery has piqued the interest of our research team as it only raises more questions to the origins of this species. Well, not really. I mean, have you heard of panspermia? I mean, really, honestly? Uh, having examined uh, several of the alien corpses, we also observed the trend key components of the alien's genetic structure are mirrored perfectly across Across each of the specimens. Although this, uh, although this is presumptive at the moment, uh, to draw conclusions as far as possible, I believe the only logical assumption is the alien is a product of aggressive genetic engineering. Aggressive genetic engineering, eh? Well, uh, beyond anything conceived of Earth. Well beyond conceived anything of Earth. Uh, if aliens are truly capable of this sort of manipulation at the cellular level, I fear we may have only scratched the surface of the technology advantage over ours. Yeah, no, no, no. Just, like, to be honest, they got across the whole gulf of space to get to us. That in itself just 
mind-blowing technology leaps. I mean, unless like that is the entire thing that this, the civilization is space, set up for. I don't know. Uh, in any case, further research is imperative, and while we obviously made, made a number of discoveries working with the alien corpses, I feel we may need to acquire a live specimen. All right, let's do it. How, how do I do? Oh, back, there's a back. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. All right, well, let's do these things. Commander to engineering. Oh, Commander to engineering. Having my mouse on the side of stuff. Okay, so the alien containment. This facility provides a secure environment to house the alien captives, allowing you to interrogate them. In okay, uh, okay, let's do that. Oh, wow, look at, the, look at all this area. So we've got a drop shaft, we've got stuff. All right, I've, I've been asked to go to engineering. Let's do that first. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. Well, of course, I was there. plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Why are you not already on it? Ooh, this mouse. Why are you not? So, build facilities. Blah, 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 blah. So, this is going to be my satellite area, I've decided on that. Uh, do we want a containment unit close to the escape? I, I don't really want to do that. But at the same time, oh, oh, uh, 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 maybe over here? Yeah, this sounds good. Alien containment, that's the priority. Uh, it's going to take five power. It's going to push us up to 30. I think we can just about do that and cost us a little bit of money. Um, that's, that's all right, we can do that. Uh, begin construction, my good friend. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Thank you. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. No doubt, no doubt. Let's do this. Commander, to the research labs. To the research labs. To the research. Hi. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. Yep. With your authorization, we can begin research on the arc thrower immediately. So this is like a stun gun, right? I, I should imagine it's a stun gun. I mean, arc thrower. Priority! Um, cost 10 weapon fragments. How, how do I find out how many weapon fragments I've got? Oh, let's Commander go. Commander to mission control. Oh, is that it? Commander to mission control. Alright, let's go. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. So I'm starting to think that I should have put the satellite over here somewhere. Um, okay. We've got a list of stuff of what's going on down here. This, this is nice. I like this. This is the Alien Containment Council report. Let's just carry on scanning. Now it looks like that satellite we launched paid off. Yeah. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. Let's do it. Uh, the, the Raven 2? Yeah. Uh, Raven 1, sorry. So if we've got two ravens, do you reckon I can send one to uh, America? That might that might be nice. Um, wow, that's quite a launch state he's got, isn't it? That's, that's awesome. Okay, and we are intercepting. What is this thing? We have eyes on the bandit. Awesome. How do I how do I do this? Do I fire? Do I? Oh, oh my god. Uh, so I fired at it. I don't know whether that was me doing that or whether it was an automatic screen. I was clicking. So, yeah, we shut down the, uh, the UFO. Surveillance indicates the alien crew moving in the cash site. We should go down and uh, have a look. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. Yay! The UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central left. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. Has anyone ever He's thought that these guys might now, just be so um, tourists? Screen. Magnify. Oh, what's going on here? So where where's they crashed? What's going? Oh, this is a whole full piece. UFO. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Now that was a long intro just for this mission. Wow, okay. So we're, so we're gonna send the Sky Ranger, of course. I mean, what else are we gonna do? So we have Welly Arms. Uh, Marquez, of course, right. Welly Arms doesn't need uh, the frag grenade. Uh, probably, uh, he doesn't have any uh, um, special, specialty. I was trying to say speciality there, but it didn't really work. Um, that's, a, that's a bit of a shame. So my wounded people have these scopes on them, right? How do I get, how do I get them? 
how do I get the scopes back off these? Oh, Ricky Johnson. My name's Johnson. Just to, just to let you people know. Hey, Jeff Johnson. Oh, strong Canadian name. I like I like this guy a lot. He, he's probably going to be our top guy. I, I hope. I hope. Anyway, I, I can't seem to get the stuff off the other people, so we're just going to launch like this. Woo! And away to fight some aliens. Again, I reckon these guys are just uh, just like tourists coming to check out our planet, and we're like, oh no. German, okay, uh, we're going Looks to the German like the aliens border. went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Yeah, I hope they stay clear as well. Am I, like, uh, so am I allowed to take out civilians? Is this a thing that we can do? I don't know, I missed reading the objectives as well. Go and take out all the aliens probably, right? Um, I don't have an arc thrower yet, so we can't capture anyone. But you can be rest assured that when, as soon as I get that arc thrower, I am going to be like full on everyone. Alright, awesome. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike right, I don't see anything, so I'm not sure where we're going to go. Um, so let's just move my team into cover. I don't really want to be dashing straight off, but there is literally no point going anywhere. Looks right, like the crash go. site is dead ahead. We should expect heavy resistance here. There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible. Well, he says there's no idea to know how many are on board, but... You know, it was a pretty, pretty big uh, beast of a ship, so I can guess that there was a fair few. So I'm going to try and fan my guys out into a sort of a, a wide line here. Um, hopefully, that should give me the ability to flank people a bit more readily. I say people flank aliens a bit more readily. So let's, let's go with this. Okay, that's the end of my go. Let's see what happens. Do, do you reckon there's anything going on up there, or are they just kind of waiting around? I reckon they're just kind of waiting around. Um, so let's send this guy over here. This, look, this looks like a fairly solid piece of cover. Uh, and straight back into Overwatch. Uh, as we don't have an assault person, I think we're just going to have to kind of run these big guys up. Um, yeah, a blue move at a time, and then Overwatch. Uh, I, I feel safe doing this. I feel safe doing this. At least until we find out where our first contacts are. Um, can I do this with the press of buttons? Right. Oh, oh it's our friend Johnson. He's going to be the uh, the star of the show. I hope so. Anyway, so if I press two, yeah. Okay, cool. That's it's good. It's good. There's uh, ease ease of interface. This is what I like in games. This is what I like in games. Okay, so where are we going to go from here? This kind of looks like my most advanced um, cover. Here they come. Oh, here we go. Okay, so what are we going to do about these guys? Now, Mark, Mark Wears can just kind of stay there. I think we're just literally going to move up until um, until they've got no option, basically. Uh, I, I just want to kind of squeeze them in. Now, where is this guy? So if I stand to the side, I reckon he's going to have a pretty good shot at me. Uh, 60%. Is that Now, is that what he's got to fire at me, or is it what I've got to fire at him? Uh, let's go with this. Go, take him out. Yeah! Oh, no, no, oh, first blood. I love it. I, I really didn't think we were going to do that well that quickly. Okay, this guy's going to move up this way. Uh, Williams. Uh, I presume he's Welsh. I mean, surely he has to be, right? I can't. I can't see what he's got on the back of his uniform. But yeah. Uh, so he's there. I mean, do we want to kind of run him up onto the line and get him to stay there? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just run him up. I mean, I know it's a bit of a distance, but. He is our last guy to move, so we can just leave him there. Oh, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's going to fire at... Ah, oh, him. Ah, oh, missed. Good good job. Who, who is that guy? Was that Kakos? I hope it was Kakos. So do we move forwards? I mean, I'd really like to get up there. Um, is there a better amount of cover anywhere? What's this? Yeah, let's go over that way. That, that looks good. Oh, oh, this, this is not so good. Uh, this now means that there's a lot of things. I've got my... I mean, this is my rocket launcher guy. We could, uh, oh, 48, uh, you know what, I'm just going to leave him on Overwatch. Just going to leave him on Overwatch. Right, Kakos, yeah, there is Kakos. Uh, he's got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go with still keeping cover. I mean, we could possibly run him there. Run and shot. Let's go do that. Let's, let's run up there. And hopefully, oh, no, 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 wait. I went to fire. 60% hit chance again. Let's put... Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame. He seems a little bit vulnerable now. I mean, can we get welly ums in? I'm going to keep using the dodgy Welsh accent for that, I know. Um, 
Oh look, what's the red about? No, no good, I suppose. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this guy. I kind of want to leave him over here, but that. Ooh. Uh, uh, do it. I know it's the end of my go. It doesn't really give me much to do, but we're, we're in place now. Uh, can I shoot him from here? I can't. I can't even really get any closer. So let's go. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where to go with this guy. It seems a little, a little bit like everything is a bad decision. So, I mean, I kind of want to move here so I've got more room to move up this way. Though it does look a little bit thin on the ground. Does anyone know if this dashing radius is the same as what my blue radius will be next round? This is, what, this is one of the things I really need to find out. Alright, we've got one guy on Overwatch. Is anyone going to um, actually do anything? Oh, we got a mind meld. Are you wrong? It always reminds me of like Abe's Odyssey. Did, did anyone play like the Abe game, the Oddworld? Um, yeah, quite good. Quite good. Oh, jeez. Took one in the face. Who, who was that? Oh wow, there's some long range shots going on here. Wow, some ultra long range shots going on here, that's no good. Okay, Marquez, can you run up here and shoot that one? Sounds like a... T oh, I should have gone in there. The alien craft is still intact. They've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. Cool, I'm sure we could find a, an opening somewhere. I'm sure we can. I mean, we just like blew it out. Look, there's one. There's an opening. No, uh, no, 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 no. We don't want Overwatch. We want to kill this guy. Gone, guy. Oh, plus two. That's just no good. Okay, where, where's our next guy? Uh, can you run up here and shoot him? This is what we want. This is what we want. And oh, 56%. Do it. Do it. We've got to try and take him out. There we go. And hopefully the other guy now explodes, right? No? Oh, that's no good. That's no good at all. Uh, right, where are we going with this guy? I, just, I literally don't know. Um, maybe we could go there and then hit... Try and hit him, maybe? Maybe? Is, is the shot worth it? So that's a 45 and a 25. Wow, okay. So let's just go with that. Probably should have left him on Overwatch thinking about it. Not not my best uh, not my best set of moves, but why did why was no one on Overwatch there? That, that was a bit. That was a poor poor move on my half my behalf. And this guy's coming in for the flank now. That that's totally not good. We don't want that to. Happen. Oh, will you look at this? Is Marquez going to go down? Is Marquez going to go down? Um, I, don't know, I don't know. We need to try and get him into better cover. I mean, can I run there and then shoot him? Oh no, I don't want Overwatch. What, what does this do? 61%. Doesn't sound great, but let's... Hmm, yeah, see... He, he's not He's not the, the best, is he? So, let's move up here. To uh, withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Any element. That was quite a good shot. I like that. Right, uh, Welly Arms needs to come up and get this guy. Is this cover over here? Brilliant. That's what we want. That is what we want. Okay, we are literally just going to fire on him. 57's not great. 57 is not great. There we go. Brilliant. I feel a little less stressed now. That that was not great. So, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a dashing move. I don't, wanna, I don't really want to dash. Can we come over this way? We don't have first aid kits yet, do we? Well, my team doesn't anyway. Let's go on to Overwatch. Brilliant. So there's more activity on the go somewhere. I can't see it, obviously. That's a, a little bit of a shame. Now, I think... So there's an entrance here, and there's an entrance here. I reckon we split into two teams. Uh, these two and these two. And we just slowly work, up, work our way through. So if I... Here? Here, here seems like a good spot. If we come here and get ourselves on hot Overwatch, uh, Kakos, you're you're coming around this way, mate. We got plans for you. We got plans for you, and you also going on Overwatch. Not enough ammo. Oh, this is. How? Ooh, I've I've not encountered that problem before. What what happens now? What what is that? Like full on, what is that? I doubt it's anything I can play with. All right. Um, 
Oh, these are all dashing moves. Can we get in here? It's not great. It's not great. Maybe let's move up to here. I know it's a dash, but it's we've got we've got Marquez here on Overwatch, so it should be all right. It should be all right. And Mr. Johnson. Um, again, oh, see, it seems a little bit, a little bit exposed coming here. Let's let's try this one instead. We can stick ourselves in Overwatch again. Right. What the hell is that? That's a being of almost pure energy. Wow, don't... The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. Beings of pure energy are not really what we want to mess with. Doctor. Let's take that thing down. I think it's a little bit rubbish that, like, when people step out of cover, your Overwatch doesn't uh, come into play. But, oh, well, right, let's move around here. Do you reckon we can uh, spot him? Uh, no, this one. What, what, what's our... 68% to hit. Let's try it. Oh, Marquez is the man. Yes. It seems to have vanished. Just vanished? But I wanted it. But I wanted it. Oh, that's no good. Well, it is good. We killed everyone. Everything's all right. We we got a few wounded people, but I can do that. That that's fine. And looking at the time I've been recording, that means thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. Uh, next time we will be well promoting all these people here and doing all sorts of other wonderful things in XCOM. I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.